They're one of our most captivating mammals, but by the 1970s they'd all but disappeared from our rivers. Otters are one of the great conservation success stories, a native species brought back from the brink of extinction in this country, thanks to a breeding program that started in Suffolk. Naturalist Philip Ware bred them in captivity at Earsham and some were released into the wild in the 1980s. They are also now protected species and they bred so successfully that there are now thought to be otters in every county in England. But because of their success there are now concerns that in some areas there may be too many of them and as a result there are less fish and less water birds. So is it time for the otter to be controlled? The impact on rivers like the Wensum, which flows through Norfolk, is causing passions to run high. Amazing this beautiful spot here, but right underneath the bridge, the road bridge. John Wilson, angler and broadcaster, believes that otters are destroying other wildlife in our rivers. So what's the problem down here then, John? Well, it's a big one. Uh, as you can see, there's nothing in the edge. This river used to be alive with fry once upon a time, but I'm afraid there's just too many predators now. There's one or two fish as you look up and downstream, but there should be massive concentrations, particularly in July, you know, when you can see into clear water. It, I mean, it saddens me to look into that and not see any fish. You can't see anything at all. You're absolutely no. right. There's nothing there at all. So at one point, years ago when you fished here, this would have been teeming. Yes, yeah. Uh, if there's no fry there now, where are the fish of tomorrow going to come from? It's like Armageddon, this. This is how the river should be. Millions of fry at the bottom, um, tens of thousands of slightly bigger fish, bigger still but less of them because there's predators like, natural predators like perch and pike and other species that eat them on their way up, culminating in some big fish at the top. We've got an upside down pyramid in our river systems now. Uh, cormorants come, up, come over from Scandinavia and eat out all the middle sized fish and if there are any left at the top, the otter's now polishing them off. So this is what we should have yes. and this is what we've got. Well, have a look down there, that's what you've got, nothing. I wanted to know more about what the otter eats. We were lucky enough to be able to film one on the little ooze in Norfolk for over an hour. Did you see him? While I watched, it ate mainly fish, but also left the remains of a moorhen on the bank. Research suggests that some species of fish, barbel and chub, have been hit hardest in smaller rivers, particularly where the fish are older. An otter can travel several miles looking for food, and private fisheries and garden ponds are also very attractive to them. Well, I came out to catch the dog because it was making so much noise. And you know, it was hurtling around the pond. When I shone the torch in the pond, the otter was sitting over there. So the otter was in your pond? The otter was in my Feeding pond. on your fish? Yeah. yeah. So one bought... otter ate eight fish? Yeah. yeah. Well, eight halves. Eight halves of fish, yeah. yeah the best the bits. The Do you have any fish left, Colin? There's one fish left in there, but that's been damaged. It's lost one of its fins, and it's got uh, teeth marks down the side of its body. Have you found him? There he is, he's down there. He's down there, look, he's just under there. So the otters had a go at him, but, yeah, but yeah. Taken, all, taken the others, and this yeah. one survived, but yeah. barely. You can see where it's being ripped off. And you can see the marks, oh, the wow. teeth marks down yeah. here, look. Not everyone is upset about the return of otters. Penny Hemphill has spent years working in conservation and is proud of what's been achieved in her county. Otters now in Suffolk uh, really are on every, every river catchment and on smaller and smaller streams as well. So it's been incredibly successful. Do you think the success has gone beyond what anybody could have possibly hoped for in those early days of actually reintroducing those, those captively bred uh, otters back into the wild? Well, obviously, the uh, Otter Trust reintroduced the otters back in the 80s and 90s. And that, coupled with what wild population there still was, has been incredibly successful the breeding the breeding of these otters has been um, beyond our dreams really a real conservation success story and of course that's not just due to the habitat it's due to the water quality 
and if they are doing well it means the rivers are doing well and it means the fish stocks are good and that, that's, that's the equation really for successful otter populations. Mm.